hello welcome to my channel um timmy if it's your first time here welcome today we're having a mock bank and this is the first bank i'm having since i moved here the fact that i had to wait to be hungry to film this video <laughs> so i'm actually hungry now and i'm having semo ogbono chicken and some stockfish inside with okra there's okra inside it too ogbono soup with this amazing rosé wine it's not wine it's like watermelon and wine apple cider something 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 please if you ever put your hands on this it's amazing i love it so much but it has alcohol in it so how many percent is it i don't see it but it has alcohol just putting that out there hey so what should we start talking about first things first how are you guys doing how how is life are you working from home i say home from home or physically hybrid whatsoever me i'm schooling i'm schooling most times um online and then sometimes physical class and i like it and i like it because it's very flexible i can plan my days plan whatsoever thing i want to do plan meetings plan to go out to work or so or plan um filming anyways i like the system here because i cannot tell you how much i like everything here hmm. especially the lights my god the light alone has boosted my productivity so it's not as if i was lazy doing youtube in nigeria there was no lights there's no light for me to uh, edit video before I'm editing half of the video. The past taking the lights, and I'll go and sleep. I beg. Ah. I'll go have a boyfriend working in the past that will call. I should bring the lights. So, but since I moved here, if I edit smooth lights, ah, my laptop is always charged. It's always plugged to the light. Once I finish editing like this, Wi-Fi, speedy, speedy one, upload. Nothing like MTN is giving me while I hear. <laughs> so, being here can actually boost your creativity. I'm a witness. One thing I don't like about this place is painting. Ah, if you are not careful, you spend your entire life savings in one place. It's not easy. You have to be very very cautious you have to be disciplined and make sure you get what you need the item you came to the store for you have to make sure that's what you get nothing more nothing less and again then if you buy something and you don't like it you can always return it especially if it's a it's a dress or you know outfit don't take the tag of it if you change your mind Go and return it. I mentioned something like that in one of my vlogs. I'll leave a link up here. I talked about it when I went to go and return one clothes. I went to go and buy like that. Fortunately for me, I've seen where they used to sell cheap clothes. Anyways, I don't really need clothes because my storage, this my wardrobe is not that big. So I don't think I want plenty of clothes. It should just be, you know, puffy and looking disorganized. So. I don't think I want to buy any more clothes now. I'll be shuffling the ones I have. Another thing with clothes, I'm coming from where I had clothes all over me. And I managed to see one thing to wear back in Nigeria. I had like four wardrobes of clothes and I was still looking for what to wear. But yeah, I know it's waste time. I will see what to wear. So I don't think I'm going out to buy clothes again. But if you're coming here on holiday, I can spend all your money. When you go back to where you are coming from, you make your money back. <sighs> Next thing I want to talk about now is <laughs> dating. <laughs> dating here is just somehow. Not like I've been on any date or anything, but I'm just saying. If you want to meet somebody here, let me mention my priorities in this America. Oh no, we're not in America. We're in UK, United Kingdom. My priorities in this United Kingdom, my master's work and man. 
So you have to be intentional about you cannot just hmm. say in Nigeria you can go out and meet somebody. This one you have to go to specific places <laughs> because there are a lot of cultures. This place is like diverse. There are many people here. You see Indians, Asians, African people, black like you, but from other countries. Like there are plenty here. So you have to you know go to specific places. To meet certain people so i used to use bumble back in nigeria and then when i came out then like, let me try bumble it was white men white men white guys before i saw black people oh my god i eventually saw black people and some of them were married oops mm. some of them were married and i had to take my leave then again there was one I eventually met. He was like, okay, when am I coming over to his house? I'm like, from where to where? <laughs> Excuse me. From where to where? <clears throat> over here. So he eventually came down to where I was. Like He was like, he wants to come into my house. I'm like, no, you can't come into my house. He said, I brought his car. When I brought his car, my hand started. We talk and talk and talk and talk and talk uh, for about an hour. After some time, say he wants to date me. I say there and then. No, no, no. You want to be dating me? So okay. I will do. Sorry. I will do but. Zana, Zana, you know you want to date me. Please take it easy. You see on me. Mm. You see on me, oh. Mm. This is the first time I'm living on my own, and hey, God, I cannot tell you how much calculation I used to make. Hey, here I talk where? Hmm. I just always look at my mom when she always buys shaki for more, chocolate cone, a goosey, or bono. I'm cooking and putting in the fridge and freezer. Hmm. It's not that I'm knowing the value. Baby, hunger. I want to destroy my life in this house. So I have to be intentional about buying food. I'm buying food here, Nigerian food is not that cheap because you know it doesn't grow here, it's imported. So you now we'll have to be strategic about buying food here. And make sure you have food whichever period that you think you'll be hungry. For instance, this Ogonona, I made it the day before yesterday, and I made it like in plenty bowls because if you're hungry, my housemate and I we kind of share our uh, um, food stuff. I cook, she buys the food I cook. She goes out to buy food. So whenever either of us were hungry, we can just bring bring out the soup, make it about make semu. Like now I'm eating semu. So that's why you have to be intentional about food here. Also, mm -hmm, and I remember something. You know, back when I was in Nigeria, there were like some people that I was following on Instagram or like Twitter. The moment they realized I was here, I can't count about four or five, like six people. They were here quite a while, but the moment they realized I was here, they started talking to me. I'm like, so, not talking to me, talking to me, like, you know there's an ulterior motive. They're like, oh, where do you stay? Can you come, can you come? Oh, me too. I stay around Manchester, blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, no, no problem. I'm like, so when I was in Nigeria, he did not see me to talk to Abby. I was not, I was not fine that time. Hm. This life. Now, well, life has just been really, really, you know, chilled. But if you like going out, I don't think you can stay in this my area because it's quiet. It's like a village. It's quiet, and you, you don't see too many outside activities maybe i'm just speaking for myself because i don't really go out i can stay in the house from morning to night i don't care i'll see something to do no how no how it's not possible i can never be bored i keep telling people i can never be bored so no no i'll still see something to do i can stay in the house but if you want you know to enjoy yourself do fun stuff <laughs> you should be in london london is where it is happening i think you'll see a lot of 
places to go, bars to go. Me, I don't, I'm not about that life, I beg. Hold on, one if you go and spend money for money for groceries for one month inside the bar in one night. Ah, no, it can never be me. Anyways, people are smart about their money in different ways. This is my um, my semu has finished too. So, what we talk about now that semu has finished. Mm. Anyway, this food was shit. I'm glad I waited to be hungry to eat this food because I really enjoyed it. If you see I'm I'm always very very prudent with money, with food, even tissue paper. They have designated like I, I use one tissue paper for one week. <laughs> I cannot start going into details about how <laughs> I'm being now that I'm living on my own, I'm on my own with my life rather than when I was with my parents. So <laughs> It's not a struggle, but you have to be intentional about many things. Therefore, I'm being intentional about my money. I remember when I went to buy the um, the leaf, like I use Utasi for this um, opono. I went to buy it in in um, the African shop, like the Nigerian store, and they sold it for two pounds. And another thing, you really don't want to run mad in this place when you are buying things. Don't do the conversion to naira. Don't even try it, or else. <laughs> You end up in mental world. I cannot, uh, that one, I could not even resist it. I did the conversion immediately. Two pounds. Huh. That's like 1,500 naira. In Nigeria, at the back of my house, you know, excuse me. You know, in Bo, it's 50 naira. Hey! My God. I should have bought it with, excuse me. I bought it with tears in my eyes. <laughs> so that's another thing that I miss. You know, having to buy food very, very cheap. You don't know the words that time. Now I hear. Buying Utasi for two pounds. Let me try. Provided they are earning in pounds, I don't think you feel it. So it shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so now I'm done eating my food, <laughs> and I believe by the time this video, I'm a very fast eater. <laughs> if not because I'm even doing more bang, five minutes have cleared this thing. I'm a very very fast eater, and I don't intend for this video to be very long. <laughs> I just wanted to use it to do like a quick catch up and just small chit chat thereabouts. So if you have any gist for me, I'm the only one here. Please leave them in the comment section. And there's Wi-Fi, there's light. I'll reply you. Don't worry. There's nothing like no data. I'll reply you. Just leave it in the comment section for me, I beg. Um, if it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe, like, share. I'm a good person. I don't do bad bad things. Like, share, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next one. Please feel free to check my other videos. Don't shy away. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.